All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here going to show you <clears throat> it is love bug season. See all these uh, nasty bugs just splattered all over the front of my new truck. Well, not new. Yesterday was a year of ownership, as a matter of fact, but... You can see these love bugs are just nasty and they're really acidic. It is the female and her egg sac that makes the big nasty splatters like this. And that's, that's really a small one. Uh, they're up on my windshield. I mean, they get everywhere. So if you don't want the acid from the love bugs to etch into your paint, creating nasty, nasty, um, just nasty looking, uh, I don't even know how to say it. It basically, it, it, it etches in, it burns itself into the paint, leaving craters of the splatter. If you don't want that to happen, which nobody does, and you can see them, look, flying around. If you don't want that to happen, you need to get these love bugs off. Look, he's like, oh, my friends, my friends are dead. No, you're dead out of there anyway if you don't want the love bug etchings to occur the only way to prevent it is to make sure that you remove the bugs from the front of your vehicle your mirrors if you'll notice here I got them on the mirror um, usually the top of the roof your windshield uh, your windshield won't be affected by it but if you want to remove it if within 12 hours you can get a pressure washer, um, and the, the pressure washer I'm using is a uh, AR Blue Clean. Let me show it to you. This is not the end all be all of pressure washers. It's just a cheap one that anybody can acquire for around hundred bucks on Amazon. That's the AR Blue Clean 112S. I think it's 1.5 gallons per minute or GPM and uh, 1500 PSI if I'm not mistaken. I've got it adapted to a, um, a, a much higher quality 50 foot hose and a little gun situation with a 25 degree nozzle on it. And I have it hooked up and you know my DI, deionized water tanks. And I'll just tell you, doing it my way, this way here, if you need deionized water, call all Florida water. That's where I, I basically lease my tanks. So call them with that number. But anyway, long story short, if within 12 hours you can use a pressure washer to remove these things, they're gonna come off pretty easily with no cleaner involved or anything like that. Uh, if, you, if the bug guts dry, and so we're talking about 24 hours or more, um, we'll just keep it to over 12 hours. If they dry, over 12 hours is when they're going to start to dry and when they start to dry they become really hard to get off so if you can catch them pretty fast you can get them off really easily with just some pressure now obviously pressure wash your vehicle at your own risk um, this pressure washer isn't going to hurt anything. And so I'm just going to literally pressure wash the front end and get the bugs off. And that's it. Yes, it's extra work. But if you don't want them to etch into your clear coat, maybe you already have the etchings. And you want to know if I can fix them. Well, probably not is the answer. Because they're eating away at your clear coat. It's just like pouring acid on anything. It's going to eat away at it. So you can see this half that I have already removed the bugs from. And then we've still got bugs here. So... When they're still wet, you can get them off with just the water and the pressure. You can use regular tap water. You don't have to use deionized water. However, 
the deionized water is really clean, so I'm not going to be leaving any spots behind. So you can see that the truck's well protected with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 from DetailJuice.com. And because of that, the bugs are going to come off really easily. If you haven't protected your car or your vehicle with anything in a long time, it's probably not going to come off as easy as this. Um, but if you need to use a cleaner because they've been on there a while, I recommend my Universal Clean and Prep from the new one system, diluted two ounces to 16 ounces or to 14 ounces of water. So in a 16 ounce bottle, uh, you would put one part, so two ounces in a 16 ounce bottle and fill it up with water. That's the easy way to explain it. Uh, same thing with Infinite Purpose Cleaner, but I would use three to four ounces uh, Universal Clean and Prep is quite a bit stronger and more concentrated than the Infinite Purpose Cleaner. But you're, you're noticing now, oh, those are paint chips. Great. Um, you're noticing now that I'm not having to use any cleaner uh, for a couple reasons. The main reason is because uh, the bugs are still moist. They're not completely dry. Uh, the other reason is I have a good base layer of protection on this uh, truck. Um, you know, some of them might require a little bit of extra scrubbing or whatever, but literally if you use IPC or uh, Universal Clean and Prep, you're not going to have to scrub. The bugs are just going to come right off with zero issues at all. And yeah, unfortunately you have to do some work to keep this stuff uh, these bugs from damaging your paint. You're actually going to have to go outside and you're actually going to have to do something. There's no set it and forget it. There's nothing that is going to resist these. Um, I used to use one of the um, bigger coatings on the market before I developed my own. Uh, still has a, a, you know, a decent following that particular coating does. If you guys have been following me for years, you know. Uh, that coating is not resistant to love bugs. Even though I spoke with the manufacturer specifically, it is not. Um, there's nothing on the planet that can withstand the acid from a severe love bug splatter. Nothing that I have found. And you know, I, I mean, the bottom line is we've been really trying to find raw materials uh, that are acid resistant. And for the most part they are, but I'm saying the big splatters, the real acidic splatters, any and everything, like my the new one system will absolutely resist that kind of stuff. But if you do nothing to get it, get it off on your own, you're definitely going to have some issues. And when I say resist, I mean, even a good wax is going to resist it, but nothing is going to stop it permanently is my point. These love bugs are nasty, nasty creatures. And you've got to do what you can uh, to make sure that they don't damage your vehicle. So now you see me just hosing it down. I just gave it a good wash and stuff the other day, but that's where we're at. So if you don't want love bugs to damage your paint, all you really have to do is make sure you get them off within 12 hours. Now that may not be real realistic for everybody. So get them off as soon as you can. Do not let them sit there in the sun and bake on for weeks. Cause when you do finally get them off, if you can, cause they are difficult to get off there. If you can get it all off, it's going to be etched. You're going to need to polish. And most of the time you cannot remove the etchings because they've etched in so deep. So do yourself a favor and every single day that you drive and get love bug splatter of any kind on the front of your vehicle, stop at a do it yourself car wash. If you have to use their pressure washer, but always do it or you're going to damage your paint and make sure this time of year, uh, usually in May and in Oct October, we get love bugs really bad. We haven't had them as bad as they are right now in a couple years actually, but they're really bad. So you always want to make sure you remove the bugs from your car or you are going to have to paint the front end of your car, period. 
if you care about it. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you got more questions for me or any questions, leave it in the comments below. And uh, if you wanna talk about my detailing products or you wanna know more about, uh, I mean, I pretty much explained everything about taking care of love bugs in this video. Uh, Infinite Purpose Cleaner, Universal Clean and Prep as a pre-soak, let it sit for a couple minute, minutes uh, and then pressure wash it. They will always come off very easily that way. But if they're fresh within 12 hours, stopping at a do-it-yourself car wash if you had to, if you don't have a pressure washer at home, that's a great idea. Um, and then beyond that, I use deionized water because now this is all wet and I can just let it sit there and dry in the sun. I won't have any water spots. So deionized water is definitely the way to be. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.